My mom, she used to take us over there to the ceremonies all the time. And we would hang out with the old medicine man. We would hang out with the old medicine people over there. And teach us stories and songs. I got a chance to go down and live on the Hoopa Reservation down there for 10 years and uh, learn some of the stories. And so, uh, they, long ago, we lived in these uh, subterranean houses, you know, in two, three feet in the earth and a little tiny roof on them. And so, uh, <clears throat> I'd like to tell a story that goes along with the song real quick. I'll do a couple of songs and then we'll, and I'll explain a little bit. But uh, I'll make it really quick. And so, uh, back in the day, Grandfather created this place and he created the water of the world. And he created a big bullfrog to take care of the water of the world for us. And so for years, Grandfather Bullfrog took care of the water. And he raised his little frogs and he raised the tadpoles and helped take care of the water like that. And so it came time for us two-leggeds. And so we built our house up away from the water's edge out of the floodplain so we wouldn't get washed away. And so <clears throat> Grandfather watched, Grandfather Bullfrog watched as us two ladies. We'd walk down in the water and we'd bathe in the water, we'd get our drink in the water, we'd wash, we'd you know, do our thing with the water. And every day, unknowingly, some of us would be stepping on his little frogs along the trail. <clears throat> One day, Grandfather Bullfrog seen a little boy come out of the house, and he walked out of the house, and as he was walking down the trail, he picked up a little frog, and he straightened his little leg out, got the dirt out of his eye, and sat him on the side of the trail. And as he walked down the trail, every frog he came across, he would pick it up, and kind of picks him up, and set him on the side. And so every day, the young man came out of the house, he went down the trail, he would pick up the frog and help him. And so, <clears throat> one day, Grandfather Bullfrog Notice the young boy didn't come out of the house. Two days went by, three days. On the fourth day, Grandfather Bullfrog hopped all the way from the river, all the way up here to our house, and he looked in the door, and there was all these medicine people and medicine women and all these people, drums and rattles, and the, the boy lay on the floor, sick, with a sign of life ready to leave his eyes. And so all, everything they could do, nothing seemed to help. They could drum and sing and pray for the young boy, but nothing seemed to help. And so Grandfather Bullfrog, he hopped all the way down to the water, back down there, and he called out, hey, bull, bullfrogs, come here, my cousins, my relatives, hey, salmon, hey, eagle, hey, woodpecker, hey, eagle and raven, everybody, come here. He said, there's a young boy up here in this house. He helped my grandkids, he helped my tadpoles, he helped all the little guys out. And he goes, I was wondering if you guys could help me take care of that young boy. And so they went up to the house and they took the, us two legged took the roof off from the house. And they brought that baby down and, and that boy and laid him in the center of the house by the fire. And all the animals came in and they danced one day, two days, three days. On the fourth day, that young boy sat up. Fourth afternoon, he danced. He danced all night with the animals. And on the end of that ceremony, they gifted the young boy that dance. They call it a fire dance. They call it a brush dance. But it's a healing ceremony. And they still do it today. And 90% of those ceremonies I was talking about are closed ceremonies. They don't let anybody come down, not even me. But I was gifted by the elders to come and talk about these things in those places. Because sometime in your life, you might be invited by that 10% down there to those ceremonies. I got to go down and see those things. Sometimes they happen on the coast at Sumac Village down by the Eureka and Arcade and stuff. They have public displays of ceremony and stuff. And so, uh, uh, so I want to sing a couple of the songs. I want to sing Grandpa Bullfrog's song in honor of Grandfather Bullfrog and the water they took care of us and, and how the water affects every one of us and how we're all standing up right now. And so.
water that flows and the roots that are grounded. This next song is <coughs> Oh, uh... 